I know we've been successful when the letters I receive are the positive ones about decisions that people have made to move to the communities, or it's when an adult child comes up to me when I'm at a community and says, my mom said to thank you so much for the care that you gave her while she was alive and lived in your community. That's when we know we're a success. To me, the success more than anything is just simply on the relationship side, and one practical metric would be how much new residents are you getting through the referrals of existing residents when you take on an affiliation. But to get the satisfaction of the residents, in order to actually accomplish that, you have to put together a team of passionate, qualified, knowledgeable people that can be a part of your future. One of our real core culture um, keys is that incredible inclusiveness and recognizing that this is a team sport and that the only way to succeed and to really understand is by really having all hands on deck. Talent acquisition and development is one of the most important, not only for our leaders, but our hands-on caregivers. The key is planning. If you properly plan, then you give yourself the best chance for success. Otherwise, you're just planning to fail, and that's not an option. Defining success is an interesting question in the not-for-profit world because I think for many of us we look at, at scores that are not terribly meaningful. So we will have a dashboard that is in some respects uh, more like what you would see in a for-profit organization with uh, growth and, and financial metrics, but we're also going to see mission-related metrics of, of growing the sides of our business uh, that we know that the for-profits won't and, and can't really touch. It's overall helpful um, to have um, bondholders and investors and um, bank covenants because they are, they are measures of success and everybody knows what they are. They're, um, they're very clear, they're very well defined and you know you measure them every single month. I would hope that each one of our affiliates can, that is operating can stand up and say we are serving beyond our four walls. So, you know, that all requires being strong financially, having great people, uh, and it requires kind of a searching attitude around things, and it requires that we all continue to work together.